So if you want to know how I achieve this yummy, crunchy Nigerian gari in abroad, please uh, stay tuned and watch to the end. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time of coming across my channel, you're highly welcome. I'm Nenya Chika, a Nigerian YouTuber based in UK. Thank you so much for clicking. Uh, so to process this Nigerian gari, I'll be using six cassavas and red oil. If you want white gari, do not add red oil. So this video was inspired by Nebo's World. Guys, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Just check her out check her out i know you are going to love our channel and so first i'm just going to go ahead and cut and peel the cassava skin i've already washed the cassava so after that i'll go ahead and rinse it one more time and if you really want to make your own gari at home keep watching this video i will show you guys step by step on how to do that and i'm going to make it very simple so right now i'm done peeling the cassava i've already rinsed it Next, I'm just going to go ahead and create the cassava for easy blending. So if you have enough time, you can just cut it into tiny pieces. But this method is really good. It's just the best because when you create the cassava and blend it, your cassava will come out very good and nice. So I'm done creating the cassava. Right now, I'll go ahead and blend it. Add the created cassava into the blender and then you add little water. This will help it to blend very well. So I'm going to blend it until it's very smooth. Now I'm done blending the cassava, I'm just going to transfer it into the cheese bag and then I will use my hand to squeeze out the excess water from the cassava. For you to do this, you have to have strength. <laughs> if you cannot be able to do it, ask someone to help you out because you have to try as much as you can to uh, squeeze out the excess water in this cassava. Uh, so now I'm done squeezing some of the water out, I'll go ahead and add the red oil. So at this point, you can add oil if you want yellow gari, but, but if you want white gari, you have to skip this part. So right now, I'll go ahead and use my hand to mix everything together. You have to mix it very, very well. Mix it very well. So after the mixing, I'll go ahead and put the cassava back to the cheesecloth and then I'll use my hand to squeeze out some more water out from it. I was happy doing this because I remember when I was growing up, I used to do this with my auntie. <laughs> we used to go to the farm to harvest the cassava root. So by that time, we used to do more of cassava fufu. In my language, we call it abo or uh, loi loi. <laughs> so it was really fun then i'm telling you but one thing i hate so much is to go to the farm i really don't like that one So right now i will transfer it into another bowl and then i will place a heavy object on top of it so that it will press out all the remaining water in it i'm just going to leave it the next day so that all the water will go out so this is the next day as you can see there's no water in it i'm just going to take it out from the cheese clothes so next step i'll go ahead and take a strainer to sieve out the 
cassava to, just to break down the lungs and also to take out the cassava chaff. So you have to try as much as you can to break down the lungs. Use your fingers to press it. Just break it with your fingers. So now I'm done sieving out the cassava chaff. Right now it's time to fry it. I'm just going to use my cast iron pan to fry it. You can use your frying pan to do that too. So you have to do this on medium heat. You don't have to fry it uh, with a high heat unless the gari will burn. So you have to make sure you fry the gari very dry so that it will last for you. So and also you have to do that on a medium heat like this one now is well is okay now. So I'm going to use my spoon to take it out and then I'll fry the remaining one. So guys I'm having fun here. <laughs> Our gari is ready. Look at how crunchy and yummy the gari is. It's so so good. So if you are in diaspora, you can make your own gari. It's your home. You can do it. It's very very simple. As long as you can get the cassava, go to African shop and get the cassava. You can be able to make your own gari at home. And it's so so simple. Use your blender to do it. Finally, our gari is ready. I'm just going to use a strainer to uh, sieve it that. If it, this part is optional, you can just leave it. But I choose to do it this way because I always like it this way. That is it. So guys, enjoy. <laughs> So lovelies, if you have found this video helpful, kindly subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed. Bye-bye.